Ladies and gentlemen, this is an incredible opportunity that you all share today and over coming weeks in relation to reimagining, rethinking and revitalising the city centre of Newcastle. I'm so excited that Urban Growth, HTC uh, and uh, Transport for New South Wales, as well as the wonderful city of Newcastle, are intent on working together to seize this opportunity and we are keenly interested to explore ideas with the community. Newcastle is our biggest regional city and capital of the most productive of our regions. So what we do with the centre of Newcastle uh, has repercussions for the wider region and with it the state economy. This is going to be some of the broadest and deepest consultation we've had with um, business groups, with residents, with people outside the LGA, with experts around our city centre. It is really, really important that everyone has the opportunity to have their say. And I know just in this room there will be a diversity of opinions. The main thing is we respect everyone's opinions and we end up working together. So at the end of this process, we have a, a collaboration in the city that I'm hoping we would not have seen before. There is a lot of opportunities through any urban renewal project for all types of businesses. But how do we make this city resilient and future-proof it is by diversifying our economic base. So this is a city for everybody that is inclusive and is a good, strong community. We've definitely seen a willingness from all sides of politics to work together. I think that now is a good opportunity to come together and ensure that we get the best possible outcome. It's critical that we have that combination of private and government investment. It's also really, really important that we are aspirational, that we have vision and that we provide the best possible opportunity for this region and this city going forward. One of the key benefits of a light rail solution is that it's an incubator of, of business growth, particularly along the route. So there are terrific opportunities to reimagine Hunter Street and the surrounding streets to create more opportunities for small businesses along the route. Affordable housing is not created by the market. It has to be a determination by government and the community that it wants to have a, a socially inclusive and culturally diverse community, and hence the reason charities exist with support of government and the community. Their cities function when people are catered for at the centre of all of that development. And once people's quality of life and people are put at the centre of the planning process, you will get good outcomes. The consultation is being done in a very uh, sincere way, a very genuine way. We've seen over $1 billion in private investment pour into the city. Uh, we've seen those connections open up and um, you know, the future's looking bright. There was over 140 people here today. They were from all parts of the, um, the business community. There were a lot of good questions asked and I think there was a lot of enthusiasm in the room about the opportunities that lie ahead. I think it's really important, uh, the leadership role that Urban Growth has, to work in concert with uh, Newcastle City Council, uh, as, as well as uh, bringing all the state government bodies together toward a unified vision so that all of the investment that's happening, the $460 million of, of state government investment, uh, gets the most efficient outcome in terms of increased productivity for the city, increased livability for its residents and increased sustainability with the natural environment.